Hi friends, it's me Nikki here with my laundry room organization and tour. I'm so excited to share this with you because I did a little refresh on my laundry room. Now you know we did the kitchen renovation and we updated our pantry and the laundry room is actually located right there in the kitchen next to the pantry. So I wanted everything to really flow nice. So my husband, so sweet for Valentine's Day, he painted it the gray that I wanted it and I did a few tweaks so that I could like refresh the room and so that I could give it a fresh new feel and make sure that the organizational system that I'm using function well for me so I want to share those tips that I use in my small space here it is kind of narrow and difficult to film but this is what it looked like when we moved in the home it was that simple wire shelf I saw so much potential in storage in here I figured we could do it budget friendly but with my home what is important to me is that I have the function and I have the beauty because it's my haven it's my relaxation space and any place I go in my home I want to feel that it's relaxing and I love it and so I want to take you through and show you kind of how I maximize the space and made it beautiful at the same time at least my beautiful I love it now what we did was we did install shelving into the, the space so you see that that wasn't there in the original space we bought this counter from Lowe's and we installed that over the washer and dryer gives me plenty of space to fold clothes and store things so it really allows me to get a lot of use out of that so we put these little tweaks that are so simple to do in the space but as you can see it goes from minimal to maximum storage so it really works out great so let me take you through and show you my thought process for trying to get the most out of this space along with decorated. And so up top here, I have my lightweight laundry baskets. Found these in Target, fell in love. They go with the whole flow of the space, but I'm easily able to pull them down because they're so lightweight and use them when doing laundry, but they tuck away nicely. Now, as far as decor, I knew in this small space that my decor would have to be decor that functioned for me. And what I did was I took these simple shelves that I had for years, I put these dollar little tins on here and labeled them, and then used the storage for things that I need like my clamps for my bags in my pantry. I can easily go here and get them. Shout wipes for when we have those little stains. I have one for buttons when I find loose buttons in doing laundry. I have one for safety pins, one for loose change. All those little things that we find and have when we do laundry so all of it's right there out of the way on the wall but it's also my decor so another thing that was important is to use that vertical space for me, use that wall space. So I knew that I wanted to mount as much as possible to keep it open, but to allow for storage. So my ironing board is here and the iron is mounted above with the water and the wrinkle release so that we can easily get to it when we need it. It's out of the way, but yet it doesn't kind of close in the space too much. So that was important. Along with this slim little uh, cabinet I have here for all of my aromatherapies and candles and things like that, it easily tucks away but it doesn't overwhelm the space. Now I need somewhere to kind of hang items, like when I need to hang something to dry that I pull out of the wash. And so that's what the purpose of this is for. I pull it out and it gives me that instant bar where I can hang those items that I need to hang to dry or things that need to be hung up, whatever I needed for that purpose. But it simply tucks away when I'm not using it. And even when it's in use, it's not so obtrusive that it's just really consuming the room. And so it's really great for those tight spaces. And I'll put links to everything I can think of below if you're interested interested in anything that you see today. Now as for the hangers that I use to hang those items, I have this little hanger organizer here mounted to the wall as soon as you walk into the uh, laundry room, but it's out of the way. It's up on the wall, it's not in the way, but I can easily just grab a hanger when I need it and put it back when I'm done so it really functions well for me. And then as far as artwork here, I have this little printable that I printed and put in a frame and it actually functions because it shows you all of the different laundry codes and things like that, the symbols. And so it really is something that's beautiful and nice to have in the space but it also functions and we keep our garbage can in here so it's right in the kitchen and area and everything so it's very convenient now on the top here I have this beautiful bowl white bowl that I got from Target and this is for all of my dirty dishcloths so when I'm needing to wash them I just throw them all in here but it's great because if I want to kind of uh, pre-soak them or anything I can do that right in this bowl it works great I wanted it to be white because I wanted it to blend in again with the space being so small I wanted things to really feel clean really feel open and just not kind of cluttered and tight so by keeping it white and clean and crisp it really keeps the space open so by us installing this little counter here it really gives us a lot of function because I have a place to fold clothes I have a place to sit the bowl for my dirty dishcloths and dirty dish towels and then also for my laundry detergent and things like that and the shelf provides 
extra storage for those baskets that really stores a lot so I want to take you through and kind of show you what I store in these baskets now I got these baskets I want to say from Bed Bath & Beyond they're the perfect size for the space they're not too big they're white with the white liner so it keeps it looking open and then I just jazzed it up a little bit now I do have my detergent out here but it also functioned as my decor I got beautiful bottles to put like my fabric softener in my bleach in and then a large one for my detergent because that way although it's stuff that I use all the time every day basically it looks beautiful and it's my decor but it functions so it's the stuff that I need also so you, I hope you get how I'm kind of trying to do dual double duty with my decorating in this small space now as far as the baskets here I wanted them to really look cute so I got these little wood labels from Michaels and I kind of labeled them cute just to kind of bring them into the room and not look too sterile because with white you have to be careful because it can look really sterile if you don't warm it up with little special touches so that's very important so this first bin is where we keep our socks, random socks. You know how you're doing laundry and it's always that one sock that's missing. Well, we put it in here so that we can eventually get the socks back together. Some of them never get back together. But then we have one for our garbage bags. Then I have one for my hand vac here so that I can easily get to it. And all the attachment and the instruction manuals are in there. And then the next one is all of kind of my mop accessories or attachments, I should say, for my steam mop that I use for my wood floors. And so I keep everything in there so that I can easily get to it when I need it and my husband still has to put a hanger on there so he's gonna mount it on the wall back there so that I can just kind of hang this here and it'll be out of the way and then in the last one here is where we keep our delicates bags our mesh bags so as you can see everything is stored away but it's so simple to get to and then we put our broom and mops and things on the hanger behind the door so you don't even see that stuff and then I have my collapsible mop bucket here which can store away I store it right behind the door you never see it but when I need it I, you know it collapses and you just pull it out when you need it it works so great perfect size for just kind of mopping the kitchen because that's where I mop the kitchen in the hall and things like that and so I love that and then it's really easy to just kind of put away and it doesn't take up a lot of space because I don't have a lot of space in this area here and then also my step stool is housed on the other side of my washer out of the way you don't even see it but I can easily get to it so one of the best things that we did in this space was actually putting these stock cabinets in here we purchased these from Lowe's they're so easy to just purchase and put up but they gave us so much space so much better than the having the wire shelving and what we did was I did I changed the hardware to kind of coordinate with the kitchen because I wanted everything again to flow nicely so you see it has new hardware on there and then on the inside here on this first cabinet this is where I keep my cleaning caddy so that when I'm cleaning downstairs I can easily pull this out it has all of the essentials that I use you guys know I love using my cleaning toothbrushes to clean my kind of uh, light switch plates and those little tiny places so I keep those in the cleaning caddy and just all my general cleaning products to clean the bathroom downstairs and all the other spaces now the little baskets upstairs upstairs up top the little baskets up top keep my dryer sheets I have one for all my stain remover items but this is kind of a miscellaneous because I also kind of keep my um, lint roller in here and then my washing machine cleaner in there also and the last one is just simply the clothespins now in the next cabinet is where I keep my stock of paper towels so that I can easily grab them when I need to replace and then I have the two, three little jars up here and you'll remember this stuff from the last video and I keep my samples in one because I get a lot of samples for kind of um, you know things for the laundry room I'll throw them in there sponges and then my stock of SOS pads so that I can replace them when needed so it all tucks away nicely there and then the last cabinet keeps all of my kind of wood floor cleaners uh, backup laundry detergent black backup cleaning supplies all of that kind of stuff is just held here so that I can refill my caddy refill the things that I need to refill um, I keep like my um, I use like gain I love gain for my you know carpet cleaning and things like that I have the specialty basket here which keeps like silver cleaner bra brass cleaner goo gone those things that you don't use every day but you, you do use and then the second one here is all of my cleaning rags I keep them tucked away and then I also keep some in my caddy but those are the extras and then the last one here is simply just light bulbs so as you can see I maximize that space every little space that I had in here but I wanted to still keep it open keep it beautiful change my light fixture put a chandelier that added a lot to the space also you know and I keep minimal cleaning supplies those things that I need that's why I love e-pantry because 
you know, I can order my supplies, have them automatically delivered, and I'm not really just kind of overloading myself with this, with um, cleaning supplies because sometimes we can do that. I have just what I need, when I need it, how I need it. Now, I want to tell you about something else. I wanted little rugs in front of my washer and dryer, but I couldn't find anything the perfect size. And so well, I was in Target, and I saw these placemats, and they felt like those little throw rugs. I, I really loved them, but I needed to, something to keep them from moving around. And as you see, it doesn't move around because my mom suggested that I put shelf liner under it and it would keep it from moving because as you can see if I would have just put this down it would it would have been dangerous and it wouldn't have been a good thing but I put a little shelf liner down and as the padding and it doesn't move I got these for two bucks at Target on clearance and they're the perfect size for little rugs under my washer and dryer they fit under each one and I love it so friends, I hope you have enjoyed seeing my kind of refreshed laundry room. I loved sharing my tips with you. I'm one of those ones that's a big believer in you don't have to sacrifice beauty in your home for function. You can have the best of both worlds. Just think out what you love and how can you make that function in your space. And I hope you all are doing great. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I love meeting new people and I love all the people that have come over to my channel. Please, friends, do not leave without liking this video if you enjoyed it to let me know to continue with these types of videos. Have a beautiful day, and this is Nikki saying goodbye.